All right, hey, so what's up everybody? So it's about uh, 20 minutes to six o'clock at night here. Uh, about to get ready to make R&R, &R, which is my form of this uh, Hawaiian vanilla infused macadamia nut blossom uh, mead. I mean, R&R, &R. back during uh, uh, Vietnam and Korea, R&R, &R, people went down to Hawaii, so why not? Let me show you what I'm working with today, all right? So I've got, over here, right here, I've got my SS Brewtech seven gallon brew bucket. Uh, it looks a little dirty on the outside, but you know what? I don't give a care about that. It's clean on the inside, all right? I've got my 20 pounds, 12.6 ounces of honey right there in the, in the uh, sink, sitting at about 150 degrees of uh, water. So uh, the, uh, to, to reduce the viscosity of it, make it easier to pour into the fermenter. All right, I've got my uh, distilled water right over here. All right, um, I've got three gallons per uh, uh, set, set aside for it. If I need more, I've got more. If I need less, cool, you know. I've got 15 grams of Lalvin 71B. I've got two grams of Yeast Energizer. I've got six grams of Fermaid K, and that's my blow-off bucket. Down here in the star sand, I've got my blow-off tube. I've got the bung all the way down the bottom of there and my uh, stir paddle uh, so that's what we got going on right now uh, give me a minute I'm gonna get, start throwing things together and I'll, I'll jump back in here um, uh, as I get going and give you updates all right cool all right so dumping in that nice clover honey in here this is the second five pounds and so I've got 10 pounds of honey in there probably about a little over a gallon of water in there you know it's always important to make sure you get him uh, mixed up this the, the honey will set to the bottom so you got to make sure you keep a a, 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 a a stir on it get it nice and and and, and infused in here so that when I get done, I want to take a good original gravity reading. I can. So it looks like we ran into a problem here. So I only went to the store and I bought only about 15 gallon or 15 pounds of honey because I already had five pounds on the shelf. Um, it looks like it's crystallized. So what I'm doing right now is I'm heating up a, uh, a pot. I'm gonna throw that on the stove to get it boiled up. I'm gonna throw that into the sink of hot water you know, try and get this crystallized honey uncrystallized. All right, so here's where we are right now. So the um, Hawaiian vanilla honey had a little bit of crystallization at the bottom too. I've got this up to about 160 degrees right now. I may boil up some more water and try and bump up the heat on it, but that's where we're at right there right now. And I did put the cover and an airlock on the fermenter for right now, just so any floating dust or whatever, any particles in the air don't get down into the honey mead uh, while I'm waiting for this uh, honey to crystallize. So that's where I'm at right now. As soon as the crystallized honey starts to break down and, and, and I can work with it, then we'll uh, go ahead and move on. So hey, I uh, ended up using four gallons of distilled water on this one. Uh, I was able to get the uh, honey uncrystallized, uh, broken back down to a liquid form. Um, I just pitched yeast, the Fermade K, and the um, yeast energizer, all right? We're right. We're sitting right at, right there at six gallons as a uh, um, as my batch my batch size six gallon batch size. So uh, let me go ahead and get a uh, original gravity off of this, and uh, I'll show you how I do that. 
because if you're still using hydrometers and um, beakers and and whatnot, come on, man, it's 2022. Time to step up to a new level. And that's it. That's more than enough of what I'm going to need to use. All right, so uh, running from uh, original gravities, uh, I use the uh, Alton Par Easy Dens. It takes less than six milliliters to pull gravity. All right. Right now, I've got a, uh, I've got, I've, I've got the uh, distilled water hooked up to it. It's reading 0 0.9999, which is close enough for me. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this off, exhaust it out, clear out the distilled water. And then I'm going to pull a sample of my mead, put it on right here, push it all the way through, pull back off, and then pull a second sample. All right, what I'm doing is I'm verifying that the uh, distilled water is out of the uh, testing chamber all right and over here all right it's telling me I've got an original gravity of 1135 you see and that used after I after I dump out that syringe 20 milliliters all right I use 20 milliliters of of must because this is a typically a wine but if you're doing beer uh, wart uh, 20 milliliters versus if you're using a hydrometer and flask, I mean, you're using every time you pull a sample to get a gravity, you know, 10, 12 ounces. I mean, that's a beer. That's a beer. There's no reason to do all that. So, uh, if you're not using an Anton Par Easy Dens, go out and buy it. The one I'm using is their version one. They have just released version two, but version one's still working for me, so I'm not going to buy it until I'm going to buy version two until version one dies. Um, but hey, go out, buy it, and I can't recommend it enough. Um, so that's where we're at right now. I just put the mead in the fermentation closet, put the, the, the blow off tube on it, and um, we're done. Took me one hour to do all that, and that was with the, the having to decrystallize some honey. So let me clean up here and uh throw this, this video onto the editor, and we'll go from there. Laters.